Plan International Nepal has been working to create a future where every young person has the knowledge and power to make informed decisions about their sexual health. On this episode of Your 5 Minutes, let's learn more about this. Joining us, we have Nirajan Khatka, Technical Advisor for SRHR working at Plan International Nepal, who is making a major difference in this critical area. Let's hear from him. September 4 is celebrated as World Sexual Health Day. Can you tell us more about it? Since 2010, the World Association for Sexual Health they have been celebrating the World Sexual Health Day each year on September 4. To celebrate this event is to foster or to create a greater social awareness regarding the sexual health across the globe. And for this year, the main theme is positive relationships. Relationship. And as you know that positive rela relationship is key for a good sexual health. Why is uh, sexual health, sexual health, reproductive health important for young people especially? Sexual and reproductive health is the integral part of the quality of health. So without a good sexual health, you cannot maintain quality of health and well-being. There is a greater importance of having a good sexual health. And particularly for adolescents and young people in a country settings like Nepal, it's really important to understand sexual health. We know that there are a lot of stigma, misconception and myths around sexual health. Sometimes people and adolescents and young people also, they think that sexual health is sexual activity or sexual intercourse. It's not like that. It's not limited to like sex. Sex is just a, just a one part of the overall sexual health and sexual health is linked with the sexuality it is a very broad topic and it includes a lot of things including the relationship the emotional aspects the physical aspects the love respect care consent and a lot more so it's very important for the adolescent young people to understand good healthy and dignified life you really highlighted the importance of uh, SRHR and uh, I would like to know more on how Plan International Nepal is working on SRHR we recently celebrated the 45 years of Plan working in Nepal and for Plan working in sexual and reproductive health and rights SRHR particularly of the adolescent and young people is one of the major thematic area uh, we work and for us it's very important that the adolescents and young people must know about their sexual and reproductive health and also uh, they enjoy their sexual reproductive health rights at the fullest. So it's very important that they are well informed, they understand the rights, they enjoy the rights, they exercise their rights in a, in a right way. Uh, and I have a question, so you have to say either it is a myth or a fact. Sexual health is important only for married couples. Is it myth or a fact? It's a myth because sexual health is for everyone. It starts from the womb and it ends at the tomb. So it's, it's throughout the life cycle. Everyone has that right, the fundamental right to enjoy their sexual health. And lastly, uh, this year's theme, uh, as you mentioned, it is positive relationship. And for you, what is positive relationship? What defines a positive relationship? Okay. When we say positive relations, in relation to sexual health, we need to understand like the positive relationship is that kind of relationship where there is mutual trust, mutual respect, and obviously on top of that, it should be consensual. It's more of like respecting each other like human life. And if we talk about the positive relations in terms of the adolescents and young people behavior, every sexual relationship should be healthy, it should be harmless, it should not be stigmatized, and definitely it should be enjoyable, it should be pleasurable. There should not be any kind of like discrimination or any kind of violence. We have come to an end of your five minutes. So thank you for your time. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Lakshmi Ji.